Good morning. Our thought for today comes from um, Micah 5, 2 to 5a. But to you, Bethlehem of Paphratha, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labour bears a son and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely. For then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth and he will be our peace. Micah's prophecy clearly foretells Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, coming into the world to rescue his people, right down to the place where he was going to be born. A place of seeming insignificant, yet great King David was also born there. And now a leader to lead his people back from exile, a leader who will be even greater than David, will also be born there. A leader who will be the source of peace. Only Jesus fits this description. This year has been extraordinary, hasn't it? It feels as though we've been put into exile, away from the country we knew, away from our friends and family. And it's so hard when much of what we've known and loved is impossible at the moment. What we need is a leader to lead his people back from exile and a leader who will be the source of peace. Only Jesus fits this description. No matter how wise our earthly leaders may be, they will never be, the, bring, be able to bring the peace and security that Jesus brings. Jesus said in John's Gospel, My peace I leave you, my peace I give you. In this time of turmoil, when emotions are high, when fear is real, there is a real peace that we can take hold of. A peace that the world cannot give. A peace which passes all understanding. A peace which doesn't make sense in the present circumstances. But a peace which is real for those who know Jesus intimately. It's a peace won for us on the cross. When Jesus defeated death, he opened up the way for us to come to God, the Father, without fear. If we're willing to accept Jesus as Lord of our lives, then he gives us this peace. And as Jesus himself told us in John 16, 33, I've told you those, these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen.